Hi students, welcome to this part of the lesson. Okay, uh, this lesson is actually mostly for P2 students, but if you are P3 and P4 uh, students watching this video, uh, consider it more like a revision for of sorts. Okay, so this is going to be from a P2 uh, book. I am actually going to be looking at page 31, page 32, and page 33. I'm going to put the picture into the in the video so you can see it as I am going through it with you. Glossary. Now, glossary basically means uh, vocabulary or meanings of those words. So let's go through it together. ATM, it stands for the automated teller machine, you know, like where you go to take your money, you put your card in or you put your PIN code in, and of course you can get your money out. Uh, I don't think you guys have it, but your parents do. Uh, desktop, it is a computer that is kept on the table or the desk because of its size. Like for example, if you look at all these uh, computers over here, these are known as desktop computers because they are sitting on the table. In other words, if you have a computer and you can't take it with you, it will be considered as a desktop computer because it sits on the table. Laptop, that's going to be like the opposite of a desktop. So the desktop sits on the computer because it's not easy for it, you know, you can't really take it and walk around wherever you want to go. So that's the monitor, then you have a CPU, you have the keyboard and the mouse right over there. But a laptop computer, like the one I have right over here, is very easy. I can sit and do my work, but if when I'm done, I can close it and I can take it to go. I can put it in my bag and I can take it home. So a laptop is more easy to carry, whereas a desktop, not so easy to carry. Here it says a laptop is a small computer that can easily fit on your lap. That means if I'm sitting down relaxed, I can put it on top of my lap. Personal computers, now this is a very good one. A personal computer basically means it's a computer that is only used by you. So, is that a personal computer? Not really. See, when you come to class, you can sit down and you can play games, you can study, you can do your work, your homework, you know, work with your friends, everything. And when you're done, you go and the next class comes in. Then somebody else gets a chance to sit there. So that computer is shared by you and your friends either in the class or multiple classes, right? But uh, a personal computer, like this one right here, is private. Meaning, I'm the only one that uses it. This is my computer. I don't give it to anybody. Nobody comes and borrows my computer. So this is considered as a private personal computer. So that is not a personal computer. This is a personal computer. So a personal computer is used mostly by one person. Maybe two people, you know, but mostly it's like one person. Then a tablet is a touch-based mobile computer, iPad. That will be considered as a tablet computer. Now, a tablet computer is not a smartphone. A smartphone is a mobile computer which is much more smaller. A tablet computer is mostly your iPad, okay? Now, let's go through, uh, now you know. Uh, I'm still on page 31, by the way. A computer works at very high speed. It's very fast. A computer never gets tired. No, not really. You and I, if we run around We'll get tired, but a computer doesn't really get tired. Humans can make mistakes, but computers do not make any mistakes. That is true. A computer is designed not to make mistakes. I might forget something, but a computer, if I save pictures or files or anything like that on any of these computers, it will stay. It will not get lost so easily. Number four, a computer does not forget any information saved on it. Absolutely. If I take pictures and videos and stuff like that, anything that I do in class, if I leave it on a computer, it will always stay, stay there till somebody deletes it. Five, a computer, a computers do not have feelings that humans. That's true. I can be sad. I can be happy. I can be angry. I can be totally excited. I'm very, you know, happy about certain things. I could be very sad. But the computer, no feelings. It'll just be what it is. Then, uh, where am I? Hmm. A computer runs on electric power. That's true. Right now, this is on a battery, but those computers over there are running on electrical power. Computers do not make their own decisions like humans. That's true. If I go to the shop and I want to buy chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream, I get to decide. But a computer cannot really decide what it wants to do. It's waiting for you or me, the, the person who's operating it, to actually give it instructions so that it can do what you want it to do. You can maintain daily records with the help of a computer. That's true. Like, I, I'm a teacher, right? So all my scores, my grades, homework, assignments, lesson plans, lessons themselves, I'm making this video right now, it's all saved on my computer. So it does, you know, save all my records. 
Okay, now let's go to page 32. I'm opening up page 32. I'll continue to read from the top. Computers are useful in banks to maintain customer details and transactions. That's true. Uh, banks, oh my God, they need to keep so many records of so many customers, their money and all that stuff. Uh, they are used for withdrawal of money at the ATM. So that way, let's see if I have $100 in my bank and if I go with my ATM and I take out $50, the computer will immediately say that you have $50 left because you just took out $50 out of $100. It does it immediately. So that's a computer thing there. Number 10, computers are very useful in the office as well as at home. That's true. This is a classroom, but my office is right over there. So a computer is very helpful. I can do all my lesson planning. I can do my lesson ideas, um, you know, go through my notes and all kinds of stuff, right? I can do everything like that. So, okay. I thought I saw somebody back over there. <laughs> okay. Uh, at home also, I have computers at home too, and I'm sure you do also. Number 11, computers are used in hospitals to maintain patient records and reports. That's true. Computers are useful in so many, so many places. Computers are in schools and maintaining information? Absolutely. If you go down to the admin office, they just got computers all over the place because they have records of so many things, like you know, the Chinese classes, the English classes, the Khmer classes. So you know, all the information is over there. And computers are used for making movies and cartoons. Absolutely. Look, I'm making a movie right now. I'm, this is my computer right over here. Uh, my microphone is over here. My camera is over there. I'm recording this movie. I'm going to put it on YouTube, and then you get to watch it. So let's look at the exercise. Fill in the blanks with the correct word. Uh, let me go through the words first. Speed, tablets, decisions, electricity, feelings, and desktop. So the first one, the computer works at very high speed. Actually, it should be high speeds, okay? S-P-E-E-D-S. -E -E Two, a computer runs on electrical power, electricity. Uh, three, humans have feelings and can express them. That's true. Uh, computers can't. Four, you can take your own decisions. And five, a computer that is kept on a desk is called... A computer that's kept on a desk is called a desktop computer. Okay, okay. If you look at uh, B, it says, well, that's an ATM machine. And of course, desktop's kind of easy. All right. Let's go to page 33. Okay, now we are looking at page 33. We're not going to do the, the jumble words. That's just more like for fun. You guys can just do it on your own. Uh, let's look on the top. Of course, that's a laptop. And then number four is a tablet, iPad tablet. Okay, now let's look at C. It says, read the sentences given below carefully and to circle it, um, color it with green and red. We're not going to do green and red. You just do true and false. So I'm going to do it with you right now. Uh, you can fit a laptop in your palm. Not true. The laptop is much bigger. So the answer would be false or not true. Uh, humans can never make mistakes. Come on, we make mistakes. Sure, we make mistakes. A computer gets tired easily. No, no. A computer does not get tired easily. A computer can take its own decisions. No, not really. A computer is a very smart device, but you know what? It's still waiting for you to use the mouse and the keyboard to give it instructions. Otherwise, it's just not going to do anything. A computer runs on electrical power? Absolutely. And computers do not have feelings. No, they have no feelings. You and I can be sad and happy, but a computer? No, nothing. It's perfectly good to go. Thank you very much for your attention, guys, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. <laughs>